Alright, hey guys, see here from Jenny Grace Living. Hello. Hello. And we got Levi and Amber. And Amber and who else? Noah. Alright, so we got some peaches back here yeah. uh, behind us on the counter. They're starting to get a little too ripe. Um, yeah. which is fine because I actually like to wait till they're nice, soft, and ripe because that way they're sweet. Uh, and that's a good time to put those up. We're going to go ahead and um, get these prepared and we're going to freeze them. Um, I freeze them a lot of the times because you can use them as, uh, just for a lot of different things. So I'm going to be using these to make uh, like a hot uh, pepper jam with these last year. So it's super easy guys. I'm just going to take you through. It's a quick video on how I process these to get ready for freezing. Um, now some of them do have, you know, some spots on them that look kind of gross, you know, but I'm not gonna throw those out. We're just gonna cut around that and make sure that we have good fruit because we're gonna take the skins off, take the pit, pits out, and then we'll freeze them, you know, halves and everything. Like that's actually a pretty nice looking peach right there. Yeah. So we got these from a local farm and store. And another one, and another uh, one. I'm not sure exactly where they got them, but. There we go. Nice. All right, so we got to get these peaches ready. So first things first. We're gonna get the water boiling. All right, yeah. so let's go ahead and turn that boiler on Can back here. Push. There you go. Now you got it pointed to the circle. All right, we're getting this heated up. All right, we'll be back in a minute when this is boiling. It looks pink. On all right, so while that's getting ready to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming off some of those bad spots and just looking over the peaches. Once this boils, we're just gonna drop that in the water uh, for about 30 seconds or so until the skin comes loose. And then I'm gonna put it in this pot back here behind me, let them cool off a little boring. bit and get all the skins off and take the pits out. So we're gonna go ahead and put our peaches in. Don't drop it in there like a crazy person because it might burn you. All right, so take your, we just use this little fryer type thing and drop them in there oh, gently. Try? Yeah, here. Got yeah, him. Do them gently. That would, sure, you gotta walk around and go get a peach. No, you can't do it. Go ahead. All right, so we got four or five of them in here right now. Or now we got five. We're gonna let those do their thing for a second. And then we'll put them in here. We'll put these from there into here and let them cool off a little bit. Alright, so they're starting to kind of peel a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking them out and putting them in this pot right here. Hi guys! But we still have to do all of these peaches so just hang tight we'll show you what's next so once you get these out of here you just want to put them in something to cool off some people use water with ice in it or whatever but i'm just going to put them in here and then hopefully by the time we're done they'll be nice and cooled off hi hi if you haven't seen my channel you should definitely see my channel no, you're not. Yes, Don't I am. That. It's, we're actually doing camera. Okay, we're gonna give this to the chickens because they like peaches and a lot of fruit. Always eat your fruits and vegetables. Always eat your fruits and vegetables. Can I have that? It's my turn. Hey! And now, let me grill. See him? He's loading stuff. All right, so we're gonna let these cool off a little bit. You can kind of see like how they start to peel, but if they're really hot, it's gonna burn your fingers. So you wanna get these to cool off a little bit. So I might run some cold water over these and then we'll start processing them further. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try and get as much of this skin off as you can. Just kind of rub it off. It is not gonna be perfect and that's gonna be all right if there's a little bit here and there. Um, 
honestly it's not really going to make that big of a difference but i like to get a, at least a, most of it off if you can done with those ended up with seven quarts here we've been eating some of the peaches already so this will be good we'll make a few different things some cobblers like I said hot sauce some sugar rush peach peppers growing in the garden and some orange scorpion peppers orange habaneros red habaneros a few other like really hot peppers I really want to experiment with those in the peach a little bit I think that will be a nice uh, spicy balance um, I like to do barbecue and things like that. This past week I made barbecue peach uh, wings and that would be a really good wing sauce uh, with some heat on it that or glaze it on some ribs or something like that. But either way you can do this. This is super easy guys. Even if they're like on sale at the grocery store you know somebody giving them away. Yeah it's a little bit of work but it's worth it. Um, you can can it if you want. Um, there's more to process if you can it. So these are just, just peaches. I mean, that's all it is. You freeze it and, uh, and you can use it and whatever you decide you wanna use it in. But anyhow guys, that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate you stopping by the channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to check out a few of the other videos I have on the channel. But anyhow guys, thanks for watching and God bless.